How's it going out there? Um, today I want to do a review of the iHealth Wireless Smart Gluco Monitoring System. I've kind of decided as I, you know, start moving through my 40s that I want to start paying attention to uh, numbers dealing with my health, like my blood pressure, and um, making sure that I don't end up getting diabetes. So keeping an eye on my blood sugar and fasting blood sugar and that kind of a thing. So I picked this up and... Uh, yeah, I'll just get into it and see how it works. I'm going to be pretty critical of this because I think there aren't a lot of devices that actually will do this and hook up to your iPhone. So I think that um, this is an important category of device, and I really hope this thing is good. So let's get right into it. I'll go ahead and open this up and see what we've got in the box. And forgive me because I just started my dishwasher, of course, because I'm a genius. So here's what it looks like when you open this up. You've got the meter right here, which is really, really small. And one thing I will say about this initially is you need to charge this. So I've already charged this up. It takes two to four hours to charge this. And you definitely want to do that uh, before you can use it. So here, let's see, and here we've got... A case inside here is going to be, this is a nice case, it's pretty solid. Got a mini USB cable to charge it. Looks like a little um, a Lancer, Lancet device. And some Lancets in here. And, ah, just the cap, the cap for the Lancing device. So I'm just gonna put this over here. And we'll concentrate on this. And so let's see here. Let me move this as well. Um, the only other thing in the box is a couple books, manuals, things like that. We don't read manuals, so we'll put that over here. And another thing I'll tell you about this is you need to order these separately. So th this is two different things. This is about twelve fifty. I bought it on Amazon. Um, and I paid, I believe, 29 or 30 bucks for this from Amazon. So you will need to order these separately. And one of the questions I saw people asking, um, these things, when you start this, you need to scan. Here's what, the, here's what the actual lid looks like. You need to scan the top, and then these will be good for 90 days. And there's 25 in here. Uh, 25 per tube, I guess. So. You'll need to keep in mind that when these go bad, you can throw them away. Um, I don't know how often I'll be testing my blood sugar, but probably for the first 30 days, I'll test it enough where I'll go through this entire this entire box. So um, I don't expect to be buying a lot of these, but this could probably, I don't really see any, any problem with that. Some of these, um, I guess they're called no code strips. Um, let me, I actually have some because I brought another meter to test the accuracy to see which one um, is better. But I would prefer no coding just in case I wanted to keep these around, but I don't think it's going to affect me, but that's something to consider. Um, also, um, let's see. No, I guess that's all I wanted to say about that. All right, so we've got this. We've got the phone, and I went ahead and downloaded the app, so I have that on here. And it looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And when you open this up, it's going to ask you to register an account. And just go ahead and do that. Uh, I've already done that. And the other thing it will do, it will ask you to connect the device to your phone, which is pretty basic. Go into Bluetooth settings here. And you'll just basically push the side button. This will turn on, and you'll see it pop up in your Bluetooth devices. And let me just turn Bluetooth on here, because that will help. And then it will connect. Okay, and then you'll see on here, this will basically show a connection. There it is. Okay. And then you can go ahead and... Go back into your app here, and the app will need to connect, and it'll connect, it'll do that, and then it'll 
be ready to scan for your blood sugar. So take a strip. And one other thing I will say, I'll, I'll actually get to this in a minute, but basically take a strip, throw it in here, and it's gonna go ahead and tell you to get a blood sample. I hate doing this. I've only done it a couple times. It doesn't, it's not that it hurts, it's just that I'm a baby. I think that's really what it is. So, all right, here it goes. Uh, ah. All right, I got it. Okay, and so we'll see how fast this goes, ready? Okay, there it goes. Made a little beep. Okay, so it says 78. I think that's good. Um, I think I got blood all over the place. Uh, that's pretty low. So I really haven't eaten much today. And one thing I will say about this, um, this device is that it measures whole blood instead of plasma. So I think the AccuCheck actually does plasma. Whole blood is more of an older way to measure blood sugar. And apparently it's not the same as what they use in the lab. So I've read the numbers can be anywhere from five to 15% higher for plasma readers and whole blood. Um, so that's something to keep in mind with this number. And if you, I, I don't, I'm gonna do some more research and I'm gonna actually, I have another, another meter coming so I can sort of compare the two and I'll do another video of that, but that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, so the app seems pretty good actually so far. It, I've got all my numbers here. I've taken this for a couple days. Um, the other thing I like about this is it actually will uh, load up into my Apple Health application. So all of the stuff that I have, I can start, you know, kind of getting an overall picture of my health data here, my weights and everything. I also have a Y thing scale, which I really like. And uh, that's pretty much it for this thing. I think I will keep using it and see how it goes. As soon as I get the other meter, I will do a, another review uh, with them both. But so far, it seems to work fast. Um... I'm not sure about the accuracy, but it seems pretty consistent for me so far. So anyways, uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I will update this as I use it a little more. All right, thanks. Bye.